Hello my friends. In today's video, we're going to be tackling episode one of my studio makeover. It's going to be split up into two parts because some of the decisions I want to make with the room, I really want to ask your opinion for. So I've decided to show you what I've done so far. And then part two can be taking care of all the little loose ends and taking your advice on the changes that I'd like to make. Also, don't mind that my hair is blue. Oops, I am nothing if not spontaneous. Today's video is also sponsored by FlexiSpot, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. You're gonna see a little bit more about the desk they sent me later on in the video. But to start off this whole video, let's talk about the before. This room was such a mess when we first came in. When Zach and I moved into this house, we had to decide who was gonna take which room. He took the northeast room while I took the southwest room. I was so unhappy with this room when we first moved in just because it was so dirty and the walls were all cracked there were curtains on the windows and so I thought this room got absolutely no light it's dark right now it's a really rainy gloomy day so we're having some cozy vibes in here but because this is a southwest facing room I get a ton of light in here you have a small window right here that lets the sunset come in so I have like optimal light throughout the whole day which is amazing you may be wondering why did you banish Zach to the dark room and that is because he chose it for himself we're complete opposites in the fact that I love the sun I love sleeping with the sun on my face I love working in a sunny room I'm totally like a little cat. Zach, however, is cave mode all the time. He loves that his room is dark. I got the sunny room, he got the dark room. We've been working on his room makeover as well, so I can show you what we've done in his room if you'd like to see that video. Spoiler alert, it's a lot different from this room. On Instagram, a lot of people told me to keep the original blue color on the walls and the reason that I didn't keep it at all was because the walls were so poorly painted and dirty. This room was a craft quilting room for one of the previous owners and so they had this room be essentially storage that way. There were so many holes in the walls, in the wooden window frames and the door, so there was a lot of patching and sanding that needed to be done. And one of the things that I totally did not like about this room was the fireplace. I loved that there was a fireplace, don't get me wrong, However, I did not like the tile. Originally, I was just going to tile over the tile or paint over the tile. And as I started to clean around the fireplace, I removed the metal plate cover that was covering the inside of the chimney. I looked up to see if this was safe to do so. Everything that I saw online said it was safe. Then I started to remove the tile. Underneath the tile, there was plaster. And I was so curious to see what was under the plaster. I had an inkling it might be brick. And so I started to chip away at the plaster and there was brick underneath. I do need to technically mortar around the brick, but I haven't done so yet. It's 
been totally fine. There have been no issues. I mean, do this at your own discretion if you have the same situation as me. However, I think that the end result looks so nice. I painted over the brick with the same color as what I painted the walls, which is White Dove by Benjamin Moore. I love this paint color and I love Benjamin Moore so much. Please sponsor me. Every single time we use Benjamin Moore paint, we're so excited about how well it covers the self-leveling, just how beautiful the colors are. So I totally recommend. In this room, there were so many cracks in the plaster in the ceiling and there was a lot of deep cleaning that we had to do. I decided to paint the walls and the ceiling the exact same color and I think it looks amazing right now. When I decided the direction of the room, I have this vision of painting the trim and the doors really fun colors and then leaving the walls white so the room could still be bright and airy but I can have some fun pops of color. I've never designed a room like this before. If you remember my last office space, it was dark, moody, a little bit like dark academia and I really do love that style but for such a beautiful sunny room, I want it to be bright, open and airy and there are different rooms in this house that I'm designing in that sort of dark academia Victorian style. So I decided that my office could be a really fun place to play with different colors and textures that I've never played with before. Something that I really wanted in this room was to have my own TV. In my old office, I didn't have one. When I'm digitally painting or even just traditionally painting, I love to have something playing in the background. I usually use my laptop or my iPad or my phone even, but for this room, I really wanted to have a TV that I could have playing like The Office our new girl. I'm so happy to have a TV. It's not very expensive. It's not like the nicest quality TV, but it really does the job for me and it improves my quality of life so much more. That I knew I wanted in this room was a tiny little makeup vanity area. I've historically done my makeup in the bathroom. However, this house has no counter space at all in the bathroom. There's just the little vintage porcelain sink and that's about it. There's no counter space. When we're going to be doing our bathroom remodels, which are gonna be huge and expensive and we're not doing them right now, we're going to have nice countertops and maybe I'll start doing my makeup in the bathroom again. However, at the moment I had nowhere to do it and so I really wanted a little vanity area to get ready. I've never had one before. Before, and so I decided to get this cute little bench from Ikea, an Ikea mirror and Ikea shelving. A lot of the furniture in this room is from Ikea. I'll have everything linked down below as I can find it or as you request it. However, I love my little vanity area. I get ready most every day in this section. I love the little shelf for my perfumes. It makes getting ready organized, fun, like a little treat every day to have my own little designated space. Something that I was really excited for in this room was painting my mantle pink. I'm painting some folk inspired art on the mantle. I really hope to do this for the rest of the doors, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video why I haven't done so yet. If you'd like to see the process, I have filmed all of it and recorded it. I can make a separate video about my inspiration and the process of doing it. However, I'm so happy with the end result of this mantle right here. I think it's so cute and I'm gonna paint this sort of motif on some of the doors as well.
one of the things that I was so excited for in this room was my standing desk. I was sent the FlexiSpot E4 standing desk, the 60 by 30 inch tabletop with white frame and bamboo desktop. And I was also sent the FlexiSpot height adjustable desk leg casters in case I want to be able to move my desk around in the room. Since I have this space in this room, I really wanted a larger workspace because I edit, I film, I draw all at my desk. And so I really wanted a large desk space to be able to comfortably have everything sit on my desk and to be able to get the right shots, all that good stuff. I love that you can customize your desk with the preferred color and size of your desktop and the desk frame. I think that a standing desk is really useful for my sedentary lifestyle because I sit at my desk like 12 hours a day. I personally benefit from standing up and alternating the way that I work so that I don't just sit for all of my work day. I think it's cool too that you can have a memory preset for the different heights that you want your desk to be. So I have one at a regular tabletop height and then one where I'm standing and I'm wondering what to put the third setting at. The desk and flexi spots, Amazon's gonna be linked down in the description, but I'm super grateful for this desk and I am excited to continue using it and have it be part of my workflow. One of the very last things that I had to do in this room was to put up wallpaper. I've never put up wallpaper before and this specific wallpaper that I purchased was a pasteable wallpaper. It's not a vinyl wallpaper, the type that is a huge sticker that you put on your wall. I had to use wallpaper paste to paste the wall and then put it up. It was so much harder and easier than I had imagined it to go. The whole process of putting up the wallpaper took me around six hours by myself and the biggest thing that I did wrong slash I would let you know in advance is to put a lot of glue on the wall when you're putting on the wallpaper paste. On the first section that I did, I didn't put enough glue so the paper didn't really stick to the wall and I've gone back in and used a tiny little paintbrush to get some glue in between the paper and the wall to stick it down. It's not perfect, but it's my office relatively easily taken down if I really need to, but I definitely think it adds a lot of cozy cottage vibes to my office.
At the end of the day, I think that the office is coming together really well. I think I'm doing okay on the way that I'm storing things in my organization. I think I could do a little bit better. One of the ways is how I'm going to store things in the little door frame where I have my IKEA Alex drawers. I love the drawers because I can put in important documents and larger drawings in there, but there are little shelves that the previous owners put up that I'm wondering if I should leave or if I should change. Let me know what you think. I also need to put some artwork in some of the frames that I hung up on the wall with the wallpaper. I also have to go to IKEA to pick up a shelf that matches the shelves next to the window and put it over the TV with some artwork and some decorations. Another thing I need to do is also swap out these IKEA curtains that are a little too short for the room and get some longer ones if possible. I would like to change the color of the door right behind me because it is definitely too intense of a blue and I think a little bit too warm of a blue for what I want the room to look like and for the way that it matches with the wallpaper. There are some tiny blue accents in the wallpaper but they're a lot lot more like a almost a cornflower color super pale super gray and so that's kind of what I want to match the door color to the little accents in the wallpaper I also have to finish painting all the trim in the room because it's not all perfectly painted and I would love to create an artwork for right above the mantle because I don't think that the piece that is up there is the best for the room last thing that I would love your help with this part I'm so conflicted by and annoyed by it's all of the plugs behind my desk. They're not properly straight in the wall, look cluttered and unorganized. I want to figure out how to cover that up, maybe with a really skinny console to cover those up. But if you have any suggestions on how to cover those up while still having them be functional, let me know. I also have no idea what to do for the wall behind my desk. I'm filming facing my actual room because I think it's a nice shot, but I don't really want to film on a blank wall behind me so if there's any way that you think I can add some decoration to that wall to make it film backdrop friendly let me know. If you see any other little loose ends in this video that you'd like me to change or to fix or you have any suggestions let me know. I will be checking all of your comments and then part two will be incorporating all of those different ideas into my office and finishing it and making it look absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to work on your own space if that's something that you're trying to change anytime soon or that it was just a fun video to watch, but let me know your thoughts. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because I try to put them out every single week and I will talk to you guys next time.